This is Win News. Tonight, revealing state government reports anger dingo activists. A feral pig trapped metres from a Harvey Bay school. The safety warning from Bundaberg Police hoped to save lives. Good evening, I'm Paul Taylor. Dingo activists say they found a connection between when the animals stopped being fed by tourists in 1993 and when their behaviour started to become more aggressive towards people. They're convinced a lack of food and years of torment from tourists is to blame. Malcolm Fitzpatrick's been saying it for years, hunger leads to aggression, something overlooked by Derm in its dingo management strategy. But a Freedom of Information investigation has shown the department's own studies detailed the dangers of starvation almost 20 years ago. Senior officers and uh, the senior officer in those findings said that uh, the aggression was not caused by feeding the animals but the aggression comes from actually not having food on the island. The study also found hungry animals can become more unpredictable and desperate and behaviours like stalking, nipping and biting are usually associated with juvenile curiosity rather than aggression. The Save Fraser Island Dingoes group says those views were overlooked. Anabolised government has failed with it and it keeps on failing. We still have negative interactions between the animal and the tourists. In a statement today, Derm denied its strategy was responsible for starving dingoes and said habit forming is the leading cause of aggression in these animals because they come to associate people with food and there is adequate natural food for dingoes on Fraser Island. It comes as Environment Minister Vicky Darling issued a warning for the September school holidays. Dingoes on the island will be rearing their pups for the next month and visitors should supervise children at all times and keep food supplies secure. Caitlin Holding, Win News.